Whatever happened to fun? Anybody remember fun? Does anybody remember just thinking something was cute or thinking something was funny and there didn't have to be meaning behind it and there didn't have to be anything but allowing the thing to be what it was? I stumbled across um, a video on YouTube for the Star Wars Connect. Um, it's apparently a dance sequence with Han Solo, where I guess that's part of the game. And people hated it. People just despised this thing. It was just, you know, the that red line. Just thumb down, thumb down, thumb down. You know, people just thought it was just the worst thing ever made. And I sat there and I watched it. I thought, this is really funny. <laughs> this is really cute. This is really... If this were... See, here's the thing. Okay, I'll, I'll grant you guys something. All you people who hate this. If George Lucas decided, you know what? Return of the Jedi really needed in my, you know, re-re-re-re-re-release. It needs a scene where Han Solo has a dance-off with Lando Calrissian. Yeah. Okay. That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Ever. That's not what this is. This is a little scene in a video game where you get to dance as Han Solo uh, to a song, you know, called Han Solo. It's funny. It's... <sighs> And people hate it. And I, it's it's not... This is... it's. I've noticed this more and more and more. And it's actually become... I feel like a little bit of a driving force behind Stop the Hate. Is... Since I've moved away from doing the more political stuff. The super serious kind of stuff. Um, and focused more on... Maybe pop culture or whatever. I've noticed that the, the thing that is really frustrating for me anymore is people taking everything so goddamn seriously to the point where it's ridiculous. Um, ever since, really, The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight came out and, granted, changed everything. Changed everything. Not just for superhero movies, for movies in general. The Dark Knight was a moment in movie history that changed everything. Not always for the better, though, unfortunately. Um, now, there's sort of a feeling of, if you're not dark and gritty and... If your hero isn't tormented, and if your villain isn't twisted and, and sick, then you're kind of... This is kid stuff. This is for kids. I just want to point something out. I love The Dark Knight, okay? If you look at my 100 favorite films list, The Dark Knight and Batman Begins are on the list, and... For me, barely beat out the Tim Burton movies. The reason for that is, is that I'm an adult. And so I can appreciate everything that Nolan did in those two movies. And I'm sure we'll do in the third movie. You know who didn't appreciate it? My kids. I took my kids to go see The Dark Knight. And we walked out. I said, how'd you like it? And they said, it was, it was good. It was good. This is from kids that were raised on Batman. Kids that were brought up by me watching those movies. And they were sort of just like, it's all right. 
And the reason for that is, is that it was that movie wasn't made for them. That was not in any way, shape, or form, despite the action figures that were released to tie into it, was not a movie for kids. And my kids even liked Batman and Robin and Batman Forever um, because they were movies that while now, as they they get older, they look at those movies and they look and they say, mm, "Yeah, all right, it's kind of stupid." But when they were little, they oh, Batman and Robin, oh, Poison Ivy's gonna get him, and I like Poison Ivy because Poison Ivy's a girl and I'm a girl too, and you know that's what they were into. They were into the bright colors and the adventure and you know all that kind of stuff that came along with Batman. That's gone now. That's just been erased. We have stolen comic books from kids and it's criminal. It is tragic what we have done. Um, the Green Lantern movie came out and I took my kids to it. My kids loved it. My kids were like, oh, that was awesome. You know, he's, you know, it was funny and it was, he was cool and it was bright and it was colorful. And you know, and I, if I was, you know, I thought I liked the Green Lantern movie. I'm one of the few, I know, but I liked it. Um, if I was a little kid, I would have flipped for it. If I was a little kid, I would have just, like, anywhere between the ages of zero and maybe 16 or 17 when I became a movie snob, as we all kind of do uh, at that age, um, I would have I would have gone insane for it. The way I did with Tim Burton's Batman movie. I just flipped for that movie. And it, you know, everybody hated it. Everybody, to this day, it's been almost a year, people still trash Green Lantern, still go out of their way to point out how much they hate it. And I, I can't help but wonder what those people expected. You know, and I know even some of you on this site have reviewed Green Lantern and said, oh, it's crap, it's the worst movie ever made, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know what you expected it to be. Um, could they have made the Dark Knight version of Green Lantern? I don't know how. It's not the same thing. It's an alien ring that makes big fists, you know? It, it was what it was. I felt it was pretty much the comic book. I felt like the Green Lantern was the Green Lantern from the comic book. So did little kids who liked the movie and now will never get a sequel. They'll never get to see Sinestro and and grow with it. I mean, that's what I think is really sad is the first movie is the little kids movie. The second movie, those little kids are a little older. So the movie's a little darker and they can get into it and follow it in a way that, like Star Wars did. Um, and they'll never get that. Um, little Kids also, I mean, I've seen this many times. The TV show Superhero Squad. Superhero Squad is awesome. Superhero Squad is funny. It's cute. Toddlers can enjoy it. You know, 10-year-olds can enjoy it. I enjoyed it. I liked watching it. Um, and if you don't know, it's basically these... They're not babies, but they're... It's almost Muppet Babies with Marvel superheroes. They're not babies. They're just cute little versions of the Marvel superheroes. And it's more of a comedy show. It's not really an action-adventure show. And, you know, Hulk talk like this. Ho, ho. And it's... a adorable it's cute and fanboys hate it fanboys loathe this show they want it taken off the air this is disrespectful to the fine legacy of the marvel superheroes it's a kid show it's a little kid show it's a little kid show it's for little little kids can't little kids have anything anymore? Can't they enjoy superheroes? Is there anything that we're going to allow them to have?
anymore? Or does everything have to be dark, gritty, edgy? You know, little kids didn't like The Dark Knight. Little kids walked out of it either scared or they walked out of it not knowing what the hell happened in the movie. Um, it's not a movie for them. And I admire Christopher Nolan for taking this character that had been done. He'd been done as a kid's thing. So, okay, it's time to do something different. We're going to try and make him like he could exist in the real world. And I admire that. That was a really interesting take on the character. But it did cut out little kids. It, it, it meant that they weren't going to get it, that they weren't going to understand it. I wouldn't have liked it as a kid. I would have watched it and gone, oh, yeah, it's Batman, so it's, it's cool. It's cool. I, I like Batman. I wouldn't have understood the politics involved and, you know, all that stuff. I would have watched it. And for lar large stretches of the movie, I would have been bored. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's really sad. I think that we can't just let something be what it is anymore. We can't just allow something to be fun for the sake of being fun. Um, you know, I know this Three Stooges movie has a lot of people pissed off that's coming out. Uh, uh, I guess by the time this video goes up, we'll be out. Um, I don't know if it's going to get good reviews, bad reviews. I'm sh I don't think it'll get good reviews. I think it'll probably bomb. But, um, and I'm not going to go see it either. I mean, I love the Three Stooges. And I watch the trailer and I kind of feel just a little inkling of, you know, oh, that's nice to see that again. But it's not the same. It's not the Stooges. It's not Larry Moe and Curly. It's these three new guys. And I can't get into it. However, I read comments, as you all know. It's how I come up with a lot of these Stop the Hates. And it's not enough for people to say, you know, this new Three Stooges movie is a bad idea. They have to go, you know, you know why this Three Stooges movie is a bad idea? Because the Three Stooges suck. They always suck. Their comedy was never funny. It's just not funny. You assholes. <laughs> you fucking assholes. Just, and you could not like Three Stooges. And you could not think it's funny. But show some fucking respect. I mean, there wouldn't, the comedy that we know today wouldn't exist without the Three Stooges. And so many of these guys, for, for, for 70 years, comedians have been inspired by the Three Stooges. And they, you know, but people are like, well, there's, they didn't even have stories. They just slapped each other and they just, yeah, it was funny. Fun. Fun. That's all it had to be. It wasn't like there was a, there should never, ever, ever have been a scene where Mo comes into a room and Curly's sitting there and he's like, oh, and Mo's like, what's wrong with you? And Curly's like, you know, my wife left me, you know, and he's got like a razor blade and Mo's like, no, don't do it, kid. You know, that should never have happened. Just be funny. Just be funny. It's all they had to be is funny. No social commentary. No, or if they did, they, you know, they, they did the, um, where, where they took on Hitler and they took on, um, you, you nasty spy, I, th I think is what it was called. I've got like literally up on my top shelf, every single three stooges short, even the crap ones from the late years, I've got them. They took on Hitler when no one else was taking on Hitler. They went after Hitler, but they did it in a way that made Hitler look ridiculous it wasn't validating. I mean, it wasn't like, let's talk about Jews. Let's talk about concentration camps. Let's talk about all this stuff. It was, wow, look at how crazy this guy is. This is nuts. This is insane. You know, Chaplin did Hitler as social commentary in, in The Great Dictator. Moeller and Curly just made fun of him. They were just like, this guy's ridiculous. 
this guy is not to be taken seriously. So we're not gonna. And it worked. It made him look stupid. And anybody who walked out of, of that short at that time in history had to be shaking their heads and laughing and going, yeah, you know, Hitler really is, this is, this is nuts. And it got through. And, and they did it by just being funny, by just being goofy. That's all that the Three Stooges ever should have been. That's all they should be in this current movie. You know, if I went to go see this current movie and there was a really touching scene where with Mo, Larry, and Curly, I would, that'd be the moment where I would go, this is, I'm walking out of this theater. Just slap each other. Don't do anything else. Sometimes things are just what they are. They don't have to have deeper meaning. They don't have to be anything else. And they definitely don't all have to be the Dark Knight. I don't, I you know, people keep, I, I see these lists of like what movies people are excited about for this summer. And it's like Avengers and Dark Knight Rises and Prometheus. Uh... You know what movie is sort of low on the list for everybody? The Amazing Spider-Man. That movie is not really catching on. And I would not be surprised if... I mean, it will probably make money, but I would not be surprised at all if it's the, the lowest grossing film so far in the Spider-Man series. And you know why? Because Spider-Man's not supposed to be dark and gritty. Spider-Man... You know, everybody sort of complains about Sam Raimi now. Oh, Sam Raimi never took it seriously. Sam Raimi just made these colorful, you know, movies where he had the silly costume and he fought other people in silly costumes. And, you know, what, you think, you mean he made Spider-Man? Is that what you mean? That he made Spider-Man? You know, and people keep saying the same thing about, and I, I have faith in Zack Snyder and Christopher Nolan with Superman. But now people are saying, well, it's going to be better than that Christopher Reeve shit ever was. You know, it was just silly and he was wearing tights and... He was Superman. That was Superman. What? The, the Superman that I... You can, you can make a dark Superman movie. You can make a darker Superman movie. Superman as a character can't be dark. That is the antithesis of what Superman is supposed to be. He is supposed to be the light. He's supposed to be the shining example that, in the darkness, we can all find. And people want him to... What? What do you want? You want him to fly around, uh, you know, and be tortured and tormented and, and every, you know, fight a supervillain who's twisted and evil like the Joker? No, it's Superman. Even Lex Luthor, at his most evil is a mad scientist trying to take over the world. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. I mean, I really... It, it's hard for me anymore because I don't think people take fanboys seriously outside of the fanboy community anymore. I think movies like The Dark Knight give us a chance to enter the mainstream and we are mainstream now. I mean, being a nerd is not what it was even when I was a kid. It was still, you know, somewhat of a taboo thing. Now, nerds are sort of railing against being mainstreamed. They don't like that Star Trek is a big hit movie um, because it took it away from them and it made it into something that everybody could enjoy. It, Star Trek was fun. Superman should be fun. Spider-Man should be fun. Superheroes should be fun. Three Stooges should be fun. Batman should be fun. Let people enjoy these things. Let people just... You can have your dark version of Batman. That's fine. But the next time they reboot Batman, let it be something that little kids can have. The next time they reboot uh, Superman, let it be something little kids can have. At some point, we've got to give these things back to kids, and we've got to let them breathe and just be what they are. 
let Han Solo dance. <laughs>